In the last video, I talked about the five main foundation types and I promised you that we would show you in practice the three main foundation types that we used in our project house. Hi, my name is Jim J. Davidson and I'm a property developer, international award winning speaker and I first invested in property in 1973. By 1983, I was able to take my property profits and uh, start a convenience store chain. Uh, over the next few years, I built that up to four stores and a petrol station before moving off to live in Florida. Returned to the UK in 2000 and established my company, Fineside Developments. Fineside Developments then produced its first new build in 2006. I've seen many ups and downs of the property industry uh, over the years. Having said that, as much as I've been involved in property and business over the years, I don't know everything. But what I do know, I hope I can share with you and that will hopefully benefit you. For context, we are uh, in the foundation stage, which is part of the build it phase. So why did we use three different foundation types. As I said in a previous video, foundations need solid ground. Whereas solid ground is relatively near the surface, i.e. within two meters of the surface, you can use trench or strip foundations. In our case, because of where we had to site our foundations, we had a problem. As some of this ground was not solid ground. This was because, in part, it was going to sit on made up ground. So we needed to use two types of foundations, which were strip and trench fill foundations to achieve stability for the main structure. In addition, we had to use a third type of foundation to support a roof overhang. Let me explain this by moving to a whiteboard. Imagine this black line here represents the, our foundations. Uh, clearly it would need to be flat, but uh, this is the best that I can draw. And the green line here is our existing earth that's going to have to be excavated on the site. So as you can see, the f there's this area here that needs to be excavated, but this area here needs to be filled up, or as we would refer to as made up ground. So when we go to put in our strip foundations uh, to support the top of the foundation, and this represents our strip foundation here, you'll see that this bit here is almost like a cliff edge, it's not really supported. And so what we then did was, uh, and we did it obviously before we put in the strip foundation, we put in a trench fill, and the trench fill comes down here to the solid ground and supports this overhang. Uh, this will be clearer when you actually see it in practice, but that gives you an idea of what we're doing. So essentially we've built some uh, trench fill foundation here to support the larger strip foundation. So here we have a picture of the foundations and if you look at uh, this area here, you'll see that it has been dug much deeper than this area here as indicated by the arrows. This is obviously prior to the concrete being put in. So what we're now going to do is fill the concrete in the first area, the deeper foundation, which is the area dug out for trench foundations. That will then be allowed to dry and then we will prepare the site for the second lot of foundations, which is the strip foundations. Those strip foundations are in fact going to be reinforced foundations. Uh, so in fact, there'll be reinforcement that has to be put in place. So as you can see in this footage, the foundations have now been dug out and we are ready on site to start pouring the concrete, which is going to just come up here. So let's have a look at the pouring of the concrete of the trench foundations.
Now, traditionally, the way to find the level of the foundations, in other words, how high they come up to, you would uh, put pegs into the ground. And so when the concrete came level with that peg, uh, then the top of that peg, then you would know that that is the height of the foundation. Uh, what we're now using is technology in order to do that. So this device here communicates with the rake that the ground worker is using and it finds the level. So when he puts that rake into the, on top of the, uh, the concrete that's been poured and it starts to bleep, and at that point he knows that that concrete has reached the level. Um, if it's too high, then obviously he has to rake a bit more out. If it's uh, too low, then of course he needs to add some more concrete into uh, the trench. So now in this picture you see here, we have completed the trench fill foundations. And as you will see from the picture, this is now level with the strip foundations. Uh, and the next stage is that we're going to put in strip foundations and that's going to be over the complete site. Um, now these are reinforced. So the, the trench fill was just simply dumping concrete up to the level of the strip fill uh, foundation or what base of where that's going to go in. Um, and then the whole thing is going to be now reinforced. So what we're doing, going to do is uh, we have to separate the reinforcement mesh and that's done with these concrete blocks. The mesh is then uh, comes in large sheets and it's cut to size for the actual uh, width of the foundation. Uh, the blocks are first of all laid into the ground uh, to basically lift that mesh off the ground. And as you will see here, there's actually a second layer. So we've got the first layer of the foundation and then we have a second layer. And these again are separated by these concrete blocks. And now, as you will see on this picture here, this is where we've laid that same reinforcement on top of the trench fill. So this will all then uh, become one. And as you will see from this picture here, we have the trench fill there leading in to the strip fill. And this is all now going to be, as I said before, one level.
So with the foundations now dug out and the concrete fill for the trench and strip foundations complete, the next stage of the project would be to do the block work and that's what our next video is going to be about. So just in summary, what we've covered here is the six stages of laying foundations, which is dig the foundations, fill the trench foundations, concrete blocks to set create the steel reinforcement, uh, applying the steel reinforcement, which is to two layers. So there's two layers of reinforcement and then laying the strip foundations. Of course, the trench foundations were laid and then the strip foundations. So then we have the complete base ready for the block work. Uh, if you would like this uh, framework of the deep and full foundations, I'll put a link below in the uh, box so that you can download it. Um, and there's no sign up, uh, to be honest for it. So in the meantime, uh, while we wait for the next video, please uh, subscribe to the channel um, and share it with your friends and uh, help us get up to that 100 subscribers. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.